morning everybody just wanted to show you what i'm doing um i've got bees here only have 12 colonies here but i've got a watermelon field right further down um and then this is surrounded by cotton granted this ain't the best looking cotton right here but it will produce but these fields behind us and literally 500 yards not even that far those cotton fields look really great so i've got 12 colonies here um, i'm here to feed and boost up i did bring six empty deeps just to get them to start working on it and drawing it on the really strong colonies um then i'll come back in three weeks and any of them that are drawn i'll shake all the bees down put an excluder and at that time i will also bring drawn comb for these other ones or more foundations for them uh to go ahead and draw out and hopefully produce some cotton honey out here as well because like i said these fields back here look really great this will produce i mean it's not the best not super tar or anything but they will produce so i only fed them once to kind of help boost them as they're growing and i'm gonna feed them again today to help draw or boost that way in three weeks they'll be super strong and the good thing about the cotton is it's a slow flow so i have plenty of time to go ahead and you know get them strong add you know, even if I come back and add drawn comb to all of these, they'll be able to fill up the box at least each. So let's get started. All right, y'all. Well, uh, I was going around just popping lids really quick to look at them. Uh, this is kind of my weaker side. These are my stronger ones that are going to get seconds. Uh, but the bees, you know, sun's barely coming up. So I've got all the foragers and everybody home. They already got me. I thought I had my suit. You know zipped up all the way and apparently i did it and i've got stung my neck my cheek my lip <laughs> so always be mindful of that i'm just gonna have y'all tag along for a little bit i was gonna feed um i've only fed them once but just by glancing it looked like they're already capping some nectar because i didn't feed them that way. So we will definitely have to take a look and see what's going on here shortly. Let me get my smoker back out. Um, I need to set her up pretty good because these girls are pretty feisty. So I'm gonna try to look at these really quick with y'all, even though those girls were the ones coming at me that were mean. Um, I haven't pulled any frames out, but I'll just, like I said, popping lids just to see what they look like. We do have a little breeze here and it's actually cool it's probably low 70s maybe high 60s here but i just want to pull a few of these to see what they're doing here as they get angry got nectar coming in all around here which you're keeping that as well you can sit that there. yeah so it looks like i'm not going to eat the brood nest here Yeah, they're back filling with me. So I will be adding a second to this one. My stronger ones will be getting seconds. Rudeness as well. You can see that, look at that, capped honey and brood. That's pretty crazy. I did not expect that. Right so I want to make sure the queen has enough room to lay. This is pretty light. That's got nectar in it. So, I, mean, I fed them one gallon three weeks ago. Not even a gallon, probably half to three quarters of a gallon. They do need some more weight to them, but, and she has plenty of room, so. But they've got, they're filling this with nectar. So, just wanted to pull a few out to show y'all what I'm doing. Um, I want to find one with larva to pull up and add a second leaf to it. And I'm going to try to hurry because I got to get home, spend time with the kids. This is two hours away from the house. Yeah, I should have brought drawn comb. I didn't think these fields were going to be like this all the way around. Like I said, those are strong fields out there. I have a bunch of drawn comb, but I didn't bring it because I want to use it for the cotton fields by the house. But imagine putting a, a queen excluder and drawn comb. Yeah, they're 
that's wild so there is a flow already here and i should have came with more boxes and queen excluders but it is what it is it's two hours away i'll do this i might have to come back in two weeks instead of three weeks because look how jam-packed that is and it's been 110 degrees here all day every day wide open people talk about the heat only thing i do is insulate the top first time trying it this year so As you see, I was not expecting this. Nectar, honey. Wow. We still have plenty of drones. Lots of beautiful brood, back filling, or back laying as they emerge. We have a start of a queen cell right here, a queen cup, but nothing in it, so we're good. We're here just in time. close together so they don't build any bark home next time when i come out here i'm gonna remove all feeders i'm not filling them today uh, they've got too much already as is so on the way back in i'm just going to continue working on down get these ready come back in a few weeks at uh ready for a second i'd say now they're building out that wax where the feeder was right here on the side gorgeous i'm gonna bring y'all along for this one uh i want y'all to see just to see what the colony looks like i haven't dug in Try to adjust my tripod where y'all can see better. So, first thing first, I'm gonna try to take out this uh, feeder. Give us some room because it's all out this crazy. Mm -hmm. This is where the girls that came at me earlier, but you can see them, they're flying out kind of thing. Getting me through my pants, getting the phone. Mm -hmm. Girls look like. All over me. Um, I'm gonna get my smoker started again. I'm gonna start with all of my pants. Yeah. Ankle staplers. Well, I'm back trying to work these girls. They're pretty, pretty feisty. Got my smoker rolling. Excuse 
use that. Get a little angle for a little bit. Hey, these girls are getting all in my pants. y'all probably could even hear what I was saying because of the bees but well the good thing about this uh, pollination contract is you know you got watermelons here you got some small ones you got some bigger watermelons you can see down there I'll get closer to those here shortly but my bees are just over there maybe 250 yards of that it's irrigated let's see where we got water here look at the beautiful watermelons that's just gorgeous awesome to see so you see we got that and then right next to it we've got literally cotton fields everywhere these cotton fields look pretty good uh, back way around and you can see a lot of people don't know cotton has pink flowers and white flowers um, supposedly they're one color and then when they're pollinated they turn another color I don't know if that's true or not but this cotton is looking great all at the same time we're pollinating these uh, watermelons here so they look beautiful as well pretty neat <laughs> 